Who am I speaking with? Jason Cozy from Smith Micro Software. And what do you guys make? We're, we make uh, Anime Studio, Manga Studio, and Poser. Uh, and what are you going to show me today? I'm going to show you Anime Studio Pro, uh, new version, version 8 that just came out in June. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to basically get started animating. So I'm just going to start out with a little uh, object, rig it, and animate it quick. Awesome. Show me. So here it is. Let's see. Anime Studio 8. Got it? OK, I'm going to start out here. And basically, I'm just going to create an object. Uh, and it's just going to be a simple star, just uh, kind of to represent a human form. But um, basically, what I'm going to do is take this object, and I'm going to rig it quick. So I'm going to create a bone, bone group here. And I'm going to move this vector layer into the bone group. And right away, I'm going to start adding bones. I'm sorry, what does that mean to add bones to it? Rigging. So it's kind of like the concept of, of 3D, how there's 3D rigging on 3D objects to allow you to animate them and bend their arms and legs. And we've taken that concept to 2D to allow you to uh, bend 2D objects in a similar fashion. So here I'm adding a few bones in. And now I'm going to make sure they're all linked up properly. And what I'm so it's essentially connecting all the links in our own body together. If they were not all linked up, then we'd all fall apart. Exactly. And so let me show you here quick. So if I, if I go and grab this bone right here, it, the, how the parenting is, it's kind of, it's off. So if I go back to the linking, the linking is all like this. It'd be like if one leg was connected to the other leg bef and then to the arm and to the head before the hip and you want to connect them all back into the hip. So that's what I'm doing right now is I just select it quick and I'm just using a couple key commands here to do this fast for you. And then I link them back in and now if we grab this leg, you'll see it's only moving the leg. And so there's some rigidity here in that line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the vector object and I'm gonna add in a few extra points because there's only three points here. I'm going to add a few points so as it bends, it's going to be a little smoother. So now we go back and I bend this and you get that, that, width, that arc. So now Very we, cool. Yeah. So now quickly, just there is a quickly a rigged object. And now to animate it, I'm going to go out to frame 24. I'm going to bend, uh, bend that bone a little bit, go out to frame 48, bend that one a little. And we'll just move these a little too just for fun of it, go back to the beginning, hit play, and then now it's auto keyframed and tweened in between. So this is one I did yesterday, and this character I actually didn't didn't create myself. It was a character out of the character wizard, which I can quick quickly show you, it's, which is a new feature of 8. And all I did is uh, go up here to the character wizard, and I went through all these presets, so there's man, women, boy, child, I created the, I selected the creature. And then I went in, and let's see, I made his torso higher, his legs taller, and I adjusted that so to create the body style that I wanted. And then I just went in, changed the skin color to blue, hit OK, this character's blue. So I'm, um, it comes with a walk cycle, which is the walk cycle that I applied there, so it makes it easy for you to create this character and have it walk right away.